All right, we're back with another save file, and today we're gonna be doing Ciudad and Morada. All these builders that I'm gonna be showing you guys are listed in my description box, so you guys can go ahead and check that out. Also, if you guys are new here, what is up? My name is The Sim Yen. My name is Yen. I play The Sims. Did you see what I did there? The only things I didn't do are these two penthouses, just because, uh, I mean, we could always just go in and just edit it ourselves, you know what I mean? But let's take a look around this neighborhood because I'm ex very excited. We're gonna start with La Vista Hermosa. I, pre I very much kept the theme of what they were trying to do. Actually, I absolutely love this build, and it fits so well into this section over here if you really pay attention it actually blends in from across the street very very well in a lot of the videos that i did show you guys y'all saw the people walking around and it actually just looked very authentic which is one of the reasons i really did love this build it just looked so cute y'all like look like the, you guys cannot tell me that this looks absolutely beautiful and then it blends perfectly with across the street with some of the pre-built ones and the shells that were already made when it um with this map so this is the original shell build that it did come with and one thing i couldn't stand was the fact that they made all of this just shells like yeah this is a really cute like plaza area but nothing about this was functional once when i decided that i wanted to continue on with this plaza i knew that i wanted shops to be open and i wanted people to be able to actually go in and have like kind of a restaurant vibe towards it so you could either make this a restaurant or a lounge it just kind of depends on what you feel like your sims are going to vibe with a little bit more i'm definitely making this a restaurant i know right now it says lounge but i think making this a restaurant would be absolutely would be very very cute and there's plenty of places to sit and also there is a functional restaurant that you could go in and make yourself your sims can even maybe even own their own restaurant down here i think that'd be very cute with dine out and we even have shops over here so so there's plenty of places for your sims to sit but overall i think the builders did a great job with incorporating this build with the world because it looks very seamless and i absolutely love the colors and just how authentic and real it looks you guys can take a look at the wallpapers and it just it just makes everything look like a little chef kisses you know like it's been there for a long time and it's not gentrified so coming out of the plaza if you guys take a walk to the left i believe it'd be in the sim world y'all would be met with this high school y'all when i tell you this high school was so freaking cute if you have cc's and mods you are actually actually able to make any law a high school which i think is cute so if you guys are maybe doing a let's play necessarily focused in this town this would be a great place to go ahead and add this i think this high school looks very authentic and it fits right into the neighborhood again it's more of a, on a low-end school you could even use this as a elementary or a middle school it just all depends on what you guys want i would probably use it with high school years but this lot is fully furnished now it is giving a low-end public school kind of vibe but this is the cafeteria that the kids would be working with we have the lockers also a gym again like i said this is supposed to be like a super low-end school then these would be the classrooms over here you guys take a look at and then if you guys go back to the first floor by the lockers there's like little classrooms here and there y'all i just love it it looks so nice and realistic in the entire neighborhood and it just makes me feel like the chef kisses because it truly does make the world feel just a little bit more real that's what i'm all about in the sims because again you have to be delulu in the sim world so now we're gonna take a look at the nightclub and we're gonna take a look at the flower romantic flower garden again all of these will be listed down below in the description so just take a look at some of these names and it'll match up with the builder so you guys can go and find it yourselves so this little lounge area is actually right off the plaza strip the thing to note is right when you see this neon sign it did have like little letters that i did delete and then make the chop and then i made the neon sign a little bit more because i wanted it to look very very nice at night and i wanted it to have a vibe like oh people are out here having fun hanging out i just didn't want it, it there there was actual words like see how it says danger do not enter i don't want i don't like words in my game i like simlish so i'm gonna have to delete that as well but if you go inside it definitely still fits the vibe of the entire theme of the world you have like a little lounge area like, like just little romantic vibes you of course you can get a drink the cutest part about this is that if you do go upstairs you're met with a little lounge area as well but also somebody could be getting nasty if you watch love island usa <laughs> this season you wouldn't if you, if you know you know but yeah guys y'all can tell that you know someone's gonna be putting on a show right here so if you have uh, wicked whims installed but this lot over overall definitely gives the vibes and i really like it at night because it just gives that realism even in the evening it looks really nice and it just fits right against this plaza i don't know i just really like it. i feel like it just 
Oh, I look like y'all, y'all don't understand when I'm actually making my save files, I am Delulu as possible and I want it to look as authentic and real. Like, and the best part about this entire save file is that it is completely CC free. There is not one piece of CC in any of these builds, which I like with my builds in my world. Again, my Sims can have CC on and I can have mods installed, but when it comes down to my builds, for the most part, unless it's like somewhere where they're actually living, I don't want CC inside of the builds. One, it just, is, I don't know that's just the way I like to run my my game everybody is different and honestly if your computer can handle it why the hell not my computer can now handle that but I just choose to like my builds as CC free as possible and I only do it if necessary unless it's a personal build that I'm using for my game household if that makes sense but yeah the nighttime vibes fit perfectly and if you even go across the street you can still see that plaza that we saw earlier everything just looks more lively and I just really 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 wish a lot of these shell builds were able to be actual builds because I wanted to change a little bit more especially around that corner over there with the brown buildings i kind of wanted to put something else right there just so it could fit in with how lively and beautiful and authentic this area looks. this is sam so what can you do i absolutely love my loading screen i talked about it in my last video but y'all y'all cannot tell me this is not chef kisses so there's two more builds we're going to be visiting over on this section and that's going to be the romantic flower garden and this little housing area so let's go ahead and go to the flower garden i really want to show you guys we're gonna like brief by the flower garden y'all it's not gonna be it's not that serious but it looks better at night specifically got this one because at night it is so gorgeous like look how beautiful imagine someone proposing to you not only that it just looks like it it just feels it feels so authentic and true to the neighborhood and that's what i was trying to go for as much as possible i was trying to be on a brand on theme when it came down to this world and i feel like i did that it just creates this immersive world of your sims just having a romantic date this just gives romantic garden all the way and of course there is a cute little play area for the kids to come and hang out in i think this is absolutely adorable as well and then we have like the little swings this place is just overall romantic and i think it's a really cute place for your sims to actually propose to someone or just hang out and have like a little night out on the town maybe they went to the plaza and now they're kicking it at the garden you know you it's simulation you're literally creating your own world and you have to be delulu when you're downloading and playing this game and that's how deep i think into this i'm like okay so they went to the plaza then they you know then, then they went to the club and now they're out here or you know what i mean like next thing you know like something Things gonna happen to where it's like oh my gosh this is so cute my sims are living their romantic life period this last area of this part of the world is going to be the uh, residential rental area y'all of course with the tool mod you can do a little bit more but this is what the build looks like i think it looks so cute in this world the only thing is it does not match the neighborhood like the whole entire neighborhood is like plain and then there's this like <laughs> it's this colorful building in the middle of everything but you know what these could just be maybe some property owners who bought it and said you know what i am going to you know stay with the colors or if not you can do another storyline where you keep all of this area like where you keep this entire area and then maybe you know you end up buying this property and fixing it up and then renting it out again all over again you know what i mean because again this is supposed to be one of those communities where like that means this is a gated community that means they ain't playing about this community so what you could do is like you could even be delulu and be like okay you know what we're gonna buy this property off them and then we're going to fix it up and then rent it out and you can fix it up to match the neighborhood around the world World, you know to match around so i feel like that's something you could do about it but other than that i really do like just i just like the way it looks so i put it in here again we already have enough of these houses everywhere i don't want to keep putting the same houses in the same neighborhood you feel me i want to spice it up a little bit because i'm sure well i don't know because these houses are given hoa low-key like the fact that all of these houses are the same it's giving hoa and it's giving like there's gonna be people that are be they're gonna come and snap about this being out so i don't know we y'all let me know that below in the comments but this house is so cute taking a look at nuevo corazon and it's supposed to be a nightlife i just ended up putting a house and a gym again i left the nightlife kind of alone maybe i should have actually put the nightclub out here but i just feel like it fit better in this world in this area y'all know what i mean but let's just take a look at it it's just you know this is my safe file you can do what you want you can download it and then end up putting it over there if you want this is supposed to be like the gentrified area but this gym actually goes so well with this entire this gym go looks so good with this entire area it fits the theme there's like the trees in the back you know there's the trees around there it just looks like it's supposed to be there the fact that 
and also let's get into the fact that the sims made this like underway drive through what like underway drive driveway what is that and then they also did a parking garage the bridges they're like hinting so hard at the fact that we should be having cars and we don't but anyway this is not about that this is about the gym we're gonna be focusing on the gym look how good it looks and it is literally designed a lot a lot of the love struck so this gym does have two floors it is workout you can work out. The only thing is I don't like that you can't use the dumbbells. It made no sense to me that they included dumbbells and then you can't use them, but yet they use them in the promo. But that's a story for another day, okay? And then if you know you come over here you can get some juice and it's just overall it's a it's a cute little vibe it's a cute gym it does what it needs to do and it gets to and it gets to the point right away i did put this house as a residential now i could go back in and change it a little bit just because again it is awkward where it's at but i also do feel like sometimes you know when like when you live in the city you do see those occasional houses that are just smack dab in the middle of all these apartments like the ones that just refuse to just give up their rights to the house and be like no i'm gonna do my own thing this is what this house is doing basically and i wanted to put a residential lot here because i just i just did but I, you i could go back in and change it to maybe like a corner store or some type of like whole foods you know what simku's grocery store would look so cute here like the little whole foods grocery store i think that would look very very cute right here actually also what this looks like at night as well it's still a vibe it still matches but hmm maybe now that i'm seeing this at night maybe i should go ahead and put something else right here i just don't know if this fits well especially because there's like a parking garage yeah maybe i might change this so y'all look at this wedding venue isn't this so cute and then you can buy flowers maybe for the groom we got the little lemonade stand the back is where it's at i absolutely love this area towards the back i cannot tell me this is not a vibe look how cute this is you can even, you can even do a um a reception it doesn't even necessarily have to be a wedding vibes at night here though are just as gorgeous and y'all have like these little stands you have places for your sims to sit you have a bar of course because you know the sims is a thousand bars so we can never have too many bars in the sims and of course this is where your sims walking down the aisle there's already some photography for you and if you have the ravishing mod it'll work even better because if you have especially if you have post player you can now you know do the poses do the animations and do what you need to do it's the kitchen now the kitchen is not all that but you guys cannot tell me y'all cannot have a wedding venue without a kitchen like where are you keeping all the stuff what's gonna happen all right like you you can have everything all in one go you know you feel me everything looks like again i kind of want to get rid of all of these because this is just it's just not my vibes maybe we can keep them for the inside but for the outside i do plan on getting rid of them i just you see how like you see how much to me personally me personally this just looks a thousand times better y'all see this y'all see the difference at what it just made I just feel like it looks so much better without that again just because you downloaded a build on me you can delete you you can download the build and customize and edit it as long as you're not claiming it as your own you know what i mean but that's just a personal preference so we have a, a, a mexican restaurant on this corner which is absolutely so cute as a vibe i really love it at night and i just feel like it just creates this like type of atmosphere that a lot of our a lot of my sims do like to go to um I, well i'm, I'm not like <laughs> my sims like to go to i force my sims to go there because um yeah my little stories but it's still a vibe like, like you see like they're, they're having like a little night on the town it's cute it's very it's local it just seems like it's very authentic to the i keep saying authentic but that's like literally the thing that i was going for for this entire build like, i keep saying that over and over but it's because i mean it and over here we have the market now this market is actually designed to be able to sell all your goods so maybe you have somebody that's you know doing work from home or they have their own little home project that they're doing and they're selling and they're just you know or they're just starting trying to start their own business maybe they're trying to work their way up to having a restaurant over in dine out and they are selling their cupcakes or their cakes or whatever it is then they can do that here and then you know slowly build their way up to owning a restaurant hello maybe you have maybe you want to go thrifting or maybe you do have to thrift either way y'all get the vibes y'all see the vision and and I think it looks really cute. Last but not least, this is one of my favorite lots. Y'all cannot tell me this does not look real. Look how good this looks. I think this, now I really do wish that EA would just start letting us go outside of the grass. Like this right here pisses, this right here pisses me off. Like it's so far out. Like I just wish like we could just connect it. Like if we could just connect it even just a little bit, that would make me happy, but it's okay. But with all that being said, if you guys did like this video, please give it a thumbs up because it truly does help on my channel. And whether you're a silent viewer, you share my video, you comment on my video, or you like my video, at the end of the day, you still showed me some love. And for that, I thank you. Let me know if you guys wanna see more of my personal save files. Again, again everything will be linked down below in the description. Thank y'all so much for watching and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye.